Yeah, we have sound. <laughs> right, uh, I think most of you have seen me before. I'm Bjorn Faller, and I want to talk to you about my favorite memory leak. Now, leaking memory is easy if you're a sloppy programmer, if you're a careless programmer. But we, you all, who spend your free time going to meetups like this, you have a professional attitude. You know how to write software in a correct way. You know to use smart pointers. You know to use container classes from a standard library. You know to you write your own or AII classes that takes care of uh, all memory resources. So leaking memory, when you have that professional attitude is not so easy. And that's why I want to show you today my favorite memory leak. This has finesse. This is great stuff. And there it is. Look. It's amazing. Uh, who here is familiar with the uh, CRTP, the curious, Curiously Recurring Template Parameter Idiom? Who is not? A few hands. Okay. I'll, 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 don't worry. I'll, I'll work you through this. So, Never mind the include, you've seen those before. Struct v, colon. Now v is known to be a name. We don't know anything about it. We cannot call functions on it. We cannot ask its size. But we know that it is a, that it is a type. We can have pointers to it. We can have references to it. And we can use them in, in a template. So v inherits from a vector of v. That is, v contains elements of v. This is okay. Uh, vector v does not instantiate v. The, the constructor there doesn't do that. Uh, so and it, it contains internally pointers. So th this is safe. This is absolutely no problem. Um, are you familiar with how vector works internally? A typical implementation looks like this. So a vector v has three pointers. A begin pointers that points to beginning of a, an allocated store, end pointer that is one past the last element, and then an end pointer that points past the end of the, the raw memory store. So in this case we have a vector v that has allocated a chunk of memory and it has three elements in it. Good so far? All right. So we create another vector, v2. v2 is pretty much the same thing. It's, it has a few more elements. But here's a clever thing, see. Swap. Have you thought about how swap works on vectors? You just change the pointers. It doesn't do anything with the elements. It just changes the pointers. So the pointers in V now points to what V2 pointed to and vice versa. So we can swap this. Swap. 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 This is a cheap operation. We're not really touching anything other than a few pointers. And this is the thing. Because now we can walk through the program. In main, we create default constructor v. So v is there. Uh, the, the crosses are null pointers. So it doesn't do anything. And then um, what? That was that was wrong. Oh, good. <coughs> and place back. So now we allocate storage. We create an instance. In the, in the vector storage, that is a default constructed v, so it has null pointers. And then we swap them. So v gets the pointers that the element has, and vice versa, like so. So now v is an empty vector, and we go out of scope. And we have leaked memory without using any memory allocation ourselves. And there you have it, my favorite memory leak. <laughs>